Hello everyone. So um this is me trying my new ish setup or trying to work with something. So um I am back filming on my desk again. Um well first of all, if you are new here, welcome and if you're returning, thanks for coming back. I hope you guys like today's video. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. It's free and <laughs> helps me out. Um so I have a new pen haul that I'm extremely excited about. A new fountain pen haul. Um, just ignore those wires. <laughs> my desk is, that's my like little charging area. Um, but yes, I'm very excited. So um, I guess I'll start from least exciting to most exciting. But this pen haul today is going to be from fungo box and i'm super excited so i did open like a little bit of um the package just because i wanted to make it a little bit easier for me while i'm filming but i haven't opened the pens yet so in oops sorry in this little plastic thing they sent some ink samples that i might be interested in I think these are so cute. Um, I really like this one. I think this might be one that I actually get. And then they also sent, there's like this little business card and there's like a little map on there, which is super cute. So I guess that's a map of their location in Japan. And then what I really love is that they sent this tea bag, this green tea bag. Um, and I really honestly love this so much. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start adding tea bags into my book journal. Um, I made an order to Republic of Tea and they sent me this sample of a red velvet chocolate tea and then an earl gray called earl grayer and so now i'm like well you know now i kind of want to in my new book journal when i finish the one that i'm currently in i think i want to start adding in these tea bags um and kind of write about how i felt about the tea and stuff so my best friend gave me that idea and so yeah because I was like I don't even want to drink the tea and she was like well you can still keep the little wrapper and save it and I was like oh that's such a good idea for journaling <laughs> um so the first pen that I'm going to show you guys is this Bungo Box Platinum Preppy so this is just like the standard um platinum preppy like they're they, I guess like this is the entry level I've never had a platinum fountain pen so this is what it looks like it says bungo box right there and it does have it looks like it has a cartridge inside oh <laughs> see this is how you know I've never had one because I'm literally trying to untwist it and it's just the cap just comes off so I've, I've been interested in getting a platinum because um it they have that slip and seal technology that's supposed to be like good for keeping the ink um you know good for um, a very long period of time um and this doesn't have it just says zero three on it Someone comment below and let me know if that's like fine nib, medium nib. Is that supposed to be like 0 0.38? I'm not really sure. It didn't say on the website what nib size it was. Um, and then it comes with what looks to be um, a black, I think that's black ink cartridge. I believe that's black. So that's fun. So this is kind of my entry into platinum. I really want the platinum, I think it's called the hot, 
Hatsuyuki, but it's sold out and um so we'll see but i i really do want to get like a real nice good platinum fountain pen at some point um so oh, i'm so excited for this i'm gonna try to sit down it's that's my chair squeaking <laughs> i'm gonna try to sit down and do this okay so this right here is the Bungo Box and Caveco collab, The Little Witch. I am so excited to open this. This, uh, so I will have uploaded by this point um, the um, unboxing of my Caveco Hello Kitty, which is, I still have the box here. Um, I actually, let me go get the pen so I can have that out for you guys it's in my bag with all my currently inked fountain pens oh, I'm I love I love this more than I thought I would so I know that the little witch is gonna be amazing but here it is Let's see if I can this is such a better situation than what I had the last time. And I just have this inked with um, Diamine's Hope Pink. I do have Flamingo Pink coming in from Diamine. And I don't know which one I'm going to like it better in this pen. I'm going to have to, you know, finagle around with the pinks. So we'll see. But I'm so excited. I can't believe this. Ugh, I've been wanting this pen for so long this I really didn't have any other like major pen purchases that I wanted to make I know that there's always going to be new pens that come out and they're going to be pretty pretty and beautiful and you know there is a sailor pen I think it's the it's like that deepish nude pink color oh it's on jet pens I can't believe I can't think of the name. I want, it's like a, it starts with an M. That's one that I'm really interested in. There's a pilot pen that I'm kind of interested in with an italic nib, but those are pens that are like, if I can, I will, but they aren't the end all be all for me. But these two Quebecos were the end all be all for me. So I'm so excited. And then I can never see another Quebeco again because I really can't keep buying all these pens. <laughs> but um, this is the box. I'm gonna flip it around. I just love, so this is, I, you know, when I opened my, um, Hello Kitty pen, that was my first time ever getting a Caveco, like, in the box, so this is my second time, and I'm so excited, and, oh, look at, oh, no, <laughs> it fell, okay, I've got it, I don't know what this says, I'm assuming this is, like, the story behind the pen. So I'm going to have to basically, oh, look at that. Okay. Haha. <laughs> they have it in English on the back because they're a good pen company. <laughs> so I'm, you guys can pause and read if you want. I'm going to, cause I'm the way that I'm sitting, I can kind of see what I'm doing, but not really. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to read this later. I'm super excited about that. I believe this is like the insert with, yes, the warranty and the history of Caveco instructions. Nice. The standard things, the little sticker. And then I wonder if I can zoom this in. Oh, I can. That makes life significantly easier see I'm, I'm new to this thing okay so what's extremely exciting right now is that this actually comes with a converter and I don't and this is great because I don't have I did get cartridges for this pen but I don't I don't have any Caveco converters and this is tiny oh my god look at how teeny tiny this is what oh that's adorable but I'm very excited because I was actually considering buying a converter. And so the fact that this came with one 
is excellent because my Hello Kitty did not come with the converter. I also opted to purchase the black clip separate. I think it was just a few extra yen that probably came out to somewhere around like somewhere between four and seven US dollars. And now the moment that we've been waiting for. I got this in a fine nib, guys. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Oh no, the camera is not doing this justice at all. I wonder if I can get some extra light on here just from above because no, this is, oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I am uh, so excited about this. These aluminum Quebecos are so smooth. I wonder if there's still a cartridge in here. There is. Okay. And it's blue. I don't really care for the blue. Oh, that's just... Wow. This is... This is so... It would have been really cute if they would have put a little witch on that nib i'm not gonna lie or cauldron or a little witch's hat uh that's 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 just gorgeous that's that's a different kind of beauty that's a different kind of beauty right there i'm obsessed with that so i actually purchased and ink specifically for this pen and I really hope that it works out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this stuff away and um, I'm gonna go ahead and ink this pen and while the ink is incorporating I will open the other pen that I have I'm just gonna just try to stuff this all in there um, This is just absolutely beautiful. Caveco has honestly completely outdone themselves with this. I've not been on the Caveco train that long, so I don't know if there are other releases that have been similar or, you know. But, like, I love this black clip. I just love the darkness of this. So, let's see. Where am I going to put... I think if I do it, I kind of want the wording to show on both sides. So these are always so hard to get on because they're like, they mean business. Okay. Come on down just a little bit more. That... That ought to do it. I think that's perfect. Just like that. I don't want anything to be covered by the clip. And I kind of, when I did it for the Hello Kitty one, I probably should have done it the same way. And I think I might take the clip off and do that so that nothing is covered by the clip. Because on this side, it says like Sanrio. And I kind of want th that to show. You know, it's there. So it should show. But this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let me go ahead and ink this. So I got the diamine cartridges of the um, Bilberry. And the swatches looked like a luscious, lovely, dark purple. So I'm hoping that is the case. I don't have anything else that I would possibly ink this with um outside of just black ink so and i have about three or four fountain pens ink with black ink right now so i don't want to do that i also have no clue what i would ink my platinum preppy with either so we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there oh i think it's gonna be lovely i think it's gonna work out really well so i'm gonna let this incorporate um, and get all in the nib and stuff. And while that's happening, we're going to open our um, third pen, the pen that I'm probably 
the absolute most excited about. <sighs> this pen, this pen was not a part of my plan, but <laughs> um, I had to. So this is the box that it comes in. I don't know what this says. Um, it, came, it came in this really nice box and then we open it. It's in this really beautiful protected sleeve from Bunko Box. And then you get this beauty right here. <laughs> this is probably the most exquisite pen in my collection. Are you kidding me? Like this is crazy beautiful this is the bunko box and sailor collab called the bamboo cutter princess kaguya and there's a whole entire story behind it and i'm not gonna act like i know every single detail because i do not i got this in the fine nib i know there's a movie and then this comes with a converter which i'm very very happy about because i have another sailor pen and I have been dying to get my hands on a converter. So, um, this is gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to ink this with. Um, I don't know. I have the, um, Ferris wheel press fluttering heart. And although I know that inking a fine nib with a shimmer ink is probably sacrilege, I do plan on getting, what is it called? The White Lightning. Is this fluttering hurt? Yes. I plan on getting White Lightning to make this more agreeable. But I've also seen some people um, ink their fountain pens with like the ink from a shimmer ink without shaking it up. So like not really pulling any glitter. And I thought like that might be a good idea. I also have Candy Marsala. And this is not as dark as you would think um, it would be. It comes out as a very, very faint like mauve color. And so I thought that might go good. I also have a pink sample here from Ferris Wheel Press. I think this is the, uh, what is this? This is called, um, uh, I can't think of the name. Deep Peach, I think is what it is. I'm sorry, I keep going out of the camera. Deep Peach, Peach, I believe is what it is. So this might look good in there. I don't know. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. But as of right now, and I also might put flamingo pink in here when it comes. I think that that might also look good. But I do think I do want to put a pink ink in. It's just so pretty. Uh, I love it. Where's my my other sailor is right here. It's just, honestly, there's really no true comparison. <laughs> this was like, this was from Amazon. And I love this. And I usually only ink writer's blood in this <sighs> this one right here i need to find something special for it oh yeah i wanted to show that is beautiful this is just an absolutely gorgeous pen and it says the what is the returns to the moon kagoya Kagoya Hime returns to the moon. That's beautiful. I need to watch the movie. I need to go over and like actually go into the history of this pen. I just happened to be, I knew I was going to get the little witch from Bungle Box because that was the least expensive place to get it from. Amazon. I mean, um, it was sold out on Jet Pens and, um, eBay sellers were selling it for way too much of a price. And even the Princess Kaguya pen on Jet Pens is double the price. And so I figured while I was already there, I might as well. But I wasn't even, it wasn't even on my radar. I had no intention of getting a sailor pen. If I was going to get a sailor pen, it was the other one that I was talking about earlier. 
Um, so, oh, I'm so sorry, I keep knocking the camera. All right, let me hurry up and um, see if I can do the writing sample for this Caveco. Let's see if it's ready. Because I do want to give you guys at least one writing sample. I don't know what I want to do with my Platinum Preppy yet. I might get a converter for it. We shall see. I don't know what I want to do. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that is smooth. Wait a minute. Oh, that ink is perfect. Oh, wow. That's a luscious, deep purple. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm kind of writing on an angle here, but that's because I'm I'm writing around my tripod. Oh, this is diamine. Bilberry. And I got the cartridges from Gold Spot. That is, that's so smooth. That is absolutely so smooth. Wow, I, I really do. I love that. I'm so glad that I found that ink. It was just a random, I was just randomly scrolling. And it's like, it kind of almost looks blue, but it's really not. It's just this beautiful, deep purple. And I, yeah, I love that. I think that goes perfect with this. This might be my new journaling pen. I've been journaling with my mini 580. Um, and candy... My Twispy Mini 580 and Candy Marsala. I only have, I don't have that much ink left in this. So I've been journaling with this. And I will show you. Oh, it comes up so much darker on the, um, Hobonichi paper. I journal, right now I'm journaling in a moleskin, an A5, not an A5, a letter size moleskin, and um, it doesn't come up that dark. <laughs> but that's that's the Candy Marsala. For, that actually comes up more like I thought it would on the Hobonichi paper. So it, I, I, paper really does matter. Where did I put Princess Kaguya? I kind of want to see... I don't know, what do you guys think? It's hard for me to tell at this angle what I'm doing. Um, do you guys think that that's a good kind of match there? Let me add some color, some light I mean. I don't know, that might, that might happen. That doesn't look terrible. Okay. So that really is it for my haul. Um, I'm so sorry that my <laughs> office chair is making those noises. But that's, I'm so excited for these. This has got me so happy. What a great new pen day. And then we've got some nice new inks to go with it. You know, I got my Diamond Hope Pink. Just got to wait for that flamingo pink to come in. I'm going to throw my Hello Kitty in here too because she's also new. Like that's just, I am a very happy girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. If you want to see anything particular, please ask me in the comments. Um, 
I am just waiting for white lightning to come in so that I can get this Ferris wheel press um, fluttering heart to be more behaved in my um, medium size Twisby nib. Look at all the glitter. It's literally all right there. I could totally ink that pen without getting glitter in it. But I do want to get some white lightning in, in, in here because um, Ferris wheel press inks are extremely dry and I honestly don't recommend them <laughs> after this purchasing experience. I do not. I think I'm going to stick to Diamine and Detrimentis. They're my tried and true. Um, but yes, so when my, when my Flamingo Pink comes in, I'm going to maybe do a little dip test with that and see how I feel. Um... And I might ink that sailor, sailor pen with it. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, just let me know if you guys want to see anything. And um, have a good night. And thanks for stopping by. Bye.